everyone, Yoga with Mel here. Today's class is a gentle yoga flow suitable for all levels. And today is Earth Day, so happy Earth Day to everyone. Let's get started. We're gonna first begin in a comfortable seated position. Um, if having your um, legs crossed in this position is a little bit uncomfortable for the ankles, perhaps you can try to place um, a towel between your ankles right here, or you can sit in this position right here. Find what's comfortable for you. We're gonna have our back nice and straight, shoulders are relaxed, and we're gonna close our eyes here. We're gonna tune into our breath. I want you to inhale slowly through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Four more times, inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale we'll gently open our eyes back here now we're going to focus on our shoulders nice gentle circular motions towards the front your shoulders may be a little tight that's okay we tend to carry a lot of our tension in our shoulders so it's important to move that tension out. Just a few more times here. And now we'll go backwards. So a nice backwards motion. Awesome. Now we're gonna relax our shoulders and we're gonna gently extend our hands out in front of us Make sure that you keep your glutes on your yoga mat and that you also have a nice straight back, as straight as you comfortably can handle. Wherever you are at is perfectly fine. If you would like to go a little bit further, you can bring your elbows down, relax your head down, and we'll hold this pose for five deep, slow breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Two more, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, we'll slowly come back up to center. And now we're gonna make our way into a straddle position. So we're gonna open up our legs as wide as we comfortably can. We're gonna flex our feet here, keep your back as straight as possible. And then we're gonna either reach for our shins or reach for our toes. Five breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale. And as we exhale, we'll slowly come back up we're gonna make our way into our butterfly pose. So bring the soles of your feet together. Grab a hold of your big toes to anchor yourself here. Shoulders are relaxed, back is nice and straight. You can close your eyes if you would like to. We'll hold our butterfly pose for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale four more breaths inhale and exhale three more breaths inhale and exhale two more inhale and exhale 
rest easy. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Awesome. From here, we're now going to go into our extended butterfly pose. So we'll, we'll keep our butterfly pose right here. We're just going to extend our arms and hands in front of us. We're going to feel a really nice deep stretch in our adductors, our inner thigh muscles. If you would like to go further, you can bring your elbows down as well. Another five breaths right here as we inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and as we exhale we'll slowly come back up We'll gently come out of our extended butterfly pose. We're gonna go into our 90-90 stretch. And I'm gonna show you how we do this. You're gonna take your left leg out here in a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna do the same with our right leg. A 90, de 90 degree angle as well here. And now, as we turn our body towards the left side, we're gonna feel a nice stretch on the right side of our hip right here. So we're gonna do five times on each side. So left side and right side is one set. So we're gonna go towards our left side, take a nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, we'll pivot towards the other side. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. We'll inhale and exhale. Again, we'll inhale and exhale. Two more on each side. Left inhale, exhale right. One more on each side. Inhale left and exhale right. Awesome. We're going to come back to the center here. We're going to extend our legs out and back into our straddle position and we're going to come towards the center. You're not bringing your hands down though. So this one's a little bit more challenging, but we're gonna extend towards the center and then we'll go towards the right side, center and left, making these nice big waves. Center, right, center, left, two more. Last one. And we'll slowly come back to center here. We're gonna bring our feet together. I'm gonna to change my position so you guys can see me. We're gonna keep our feet nice and flexed. Back is nice and straight depending on your flexibility level. You can have your hands on the top of your quads right here, your thighs right here, down towards your yoga mat, grabbing a hold of your shins or grabbing a hold of your toes or even the ankles. Whatever is comfortable for you, just try your best to keep your back as straight as possible. Five breaths here. Let's take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale, we'll slowly let go of our feet. And now we're gonna make our way into our spinal twist. Bend the right leg, keeping that left leg nice and straight. We're gonna cross this right foot over our left leg, left elbow on top of the right knee, and right hand comes behind you. We're gonna keep our back as straight as possible, and we're gonna look over our right shoulder. Now, when you're in your spinal twist, Make sure that you're able to breathe comfortably. If you're, if you're having a hard time breathing in this pose, it means you've gone too far, okay? So keep that in mind. Five breaths here, we'll inhale and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale 
and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, we'll slowly come back to center. Let's try the other side. Right leg is extended out in front of us, and the left leg is bent, the left knee is bent. We'll cross that left leg over the right, right elbow on top of our left knee, and we'll have the left hand behind us, keeping our back as straight as possible. Another five breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale four more breaths inhale and exhale three more inhale and exhale two more inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale we'll slowly come back to center now we're gonna make our way onto our hands and knees, getting ready for our cat and cow pose. To set yourself up correctly for a cat and cow pose, make sure that your fingertips, your fingers are evenly spread out and you have your wrist, your elbows, and your shoulders in a nice straight line. You also wanna make sure that your knees are about hip width distance apart. And we're gonna keep our stomach relaxed down towards the yoga mat inhale as you gaze forward exhale as you round your back push the mat away from you with your hands chin to your chest and your gaze is towards your belly button let's try that again four more times inhale gaze forward exhale as you round three more inhale and exhale Two more inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Awesome, we'll slowly come back to a neutral spine and now we're gonna go into our counterbalance. Extend your left leg behind you and the right arm in front for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale slowly come back down and we'll try the other side for another five breaths so right leg comes behind you left arm in front take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale four more inhale and exhale three more inhale and exhale Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, we'll inhale, and exhale, we'll slowly come back down. Now, let's make our way into our pigeon pose, my favorite yoga pose. It feels so good for the hips, for the low back. Anyone who suffers from sciatica, I highly recommend that you try pigeon pose every day. If you have um, issues with your knees, I can show you an option, a modification for pigeon pose um, that won't put pressure on um, the knee. So I'm gonna show you the first pigeon pose. Um, you're gonna bring your left knee, place it behind your left wrist. I'm gonna slide it up here. Have that right foot, I mean this left foot uh, sticking out here. And then I'm gonna extend my right leg behind me. Okay, that's option one. If our knees are um, achy or we've um, had a, a, a recent injury or they're not feeling too good, you're gonna come onto your back and you're gonna bend this left knee as you try your best to bring that left knee down. If you have to, you can also bend this right knee, okay? 
So that is your option right there for five breaths. We're gonna first have our hands propped up here. You can even come up high up onto your fingertips. And then we'll go into our extended pigeon pose after this. Five breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Four more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. We'll slowly come back down to our elbows. Or you can bring your forehead all the way down for your full extended pigeon pose. Five breaths right here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Four more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. We'll slowly come up from our extended pigeon pose. And very gently, we're going to switch sides. Right knee behind the right wrist so that we have good alignment here. And we'll extend the left leg behind you. If you're on your back, you are going to switch sides. So right leg on top of left. You can prop up onto your fingertips here for pigeon pose for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. From here, we'll slowly come down to our extended pigeon pose for another five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. We'll slowly come up from our extended pigeon pose. We're gonna gently transition into a cobra pose. In your cobra pose, make sure that your shoulders are relaxed, your chest is propped forward. You can have a little micro bend in your elbows. That's perfectly fine. We'll hold this for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and as you exhale, slowly push yourself back, making your way into a nice child's pose. I'm gonna give you options for child's pose here. Um, if your knees are a little bit achy, I recommend to place a towel or a blanket underneath your knees. You can also have your knees wide apart as well, and then you can slowly extend your hands out in front of you. If you want a little bit of a deeper stretch and the knees are okay, then you can bring your knees together. Or sometimes for 
Um, for women, it's a little bit uncomfortable for the chest, so I recommend you um, have your knees wide apart. Now for the placement of your hands, depending on how your shoulders feel, you'll find what's comfortable for you. I love to have my hands in front, but some people prefer the hands behind. Find what's comfortable for you. We're gonna hang out here for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. From our child's pose, we're gonna slowly come back up onto our hands and knees, and we're gonna make ourselves all the way up into our downward facing dog. So if it's the first downward dog of the day, the hamstrings and calves may be a little bit tight, and that's okay. Start to bend the right knee a little bit, putting a little bit of more pressure on the left side, and then bend the left knee. Start to pedal out your feet one foot at a time giving some love to our hamstrings and our calves. And now we'll keep our downward dog still. It does not matter if your heels cannot touch um, the yoga mat, as long as you're keeping your back as straight as possible. That is the most important thing. Really lengthen through your arms, make sure that your neck is relaxed. No tension in the neck, guys. Five breaths, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Four more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, we're gonna slowly roll ourselves out, back down towards the yoga mat. And now we're gonna do a nice shoulder stretch right here. So we're gonna take the right arm all the way down here. Now, depending on how tight your shoulders are, it will determine how far you can go. So go where it, it feels comfortable. You keep the right hand and right shoulder all the way down. My left hand, is flat on the mat. So I have my left elbow bent, okay? I'm gonna slowly roll on over towards my right hip. For some people, that's probably as far as we can go and that's fine. For others, if you wanna go a little bit further, you can extend this left leg out or bring that left foot down. And now for my really flexible people with shoulders, challenge yourself and see if we can extend this left arm all the way back. See if we can interlace the hands together, palms together. Five breaths, we'll inhale and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale. And as we exhale, we'll slowly come out of this deep shoulder stretch. We'll make our way to the other side. Brought a little bit of mud with me. <laughs> left hand down, left shoulder down. Right uh, palm is flat on the yoga mat. And I'm gonna just gently roll over onto my left hip here, okay? I'm gonna bend this right knee. Even if you're right here, that's perfectly fine. We're still feeling that really deep stretch. Right hand goes out. We get a hold of our palms together. Now my left side is definitely my tighter side. So I can feel it a little bit different than the other side. And that's okay. We always practice both sides in yoga. We gotta balance everything out. 
five breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Four more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. We'll slowly come back to center. And we'll slowly come back up onto our hands and knees. And we're going to bring this right foot all the way in front. You have options right here. So you can be propped up right here, hands at the heart center, okay? Or if you would like to make it a little bit more challenging, you can either have your hands down here on the yoga mat, or you can take your right arm, bring it all the way under here, extend this left leg out, bring the left elbow down, find whatever's comfortable for you. You can also, can bring this left foot in. So find the variation that's comfortable for you. I'm gonna go into my lizard pose stretch right here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more inhale and exhale. Three more inhale and exhale. Two more, we're almost there, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. We'll slowly come out from here. I can definitely feel that stretch in my right hip. Let's try the other side. Five full breaths right here as we inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. We'll slowly come out of our lizard pose. And now we're gonna slowly come back up to a standing right here. Come up one vertebrae at a time. And we're gonna do our triangle pose. So I have, I have my left foot in front and my right foot pointing towards the horizontal edge of my mat. Now to set yourself up perfectly for a triangle pose, make sure that both of your heels are in line. Have my left hand in front, right hand is behind me, palms facing down. And we're gonna slowly take our left hand all the way down as far as comfortable as you feel. You can have your left hand on your quad or on your shin, grabbing a hold of your left foot or even the yoga mat down here. Make sure that you keep that right arm nice and straight. Let's hold this for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale, we'll slowly come back up. Let's switch sides. Five breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. We'll slowly come up 
from our triangle pose. We're going to transition into our tree pose for Earth Day. We cannot miss tree pose today. So I'm going to show you options for your tree pose, depending on how balanced and your flexibility is today. So we're going to start first on our right foot. So you can have your left foot um, positioned like this, and you can have the left heel very close to the inside of your right calf here, or the inside of your right thigh, or the bottom of your leg. Um, you can have your shoulders relax, palms at your heart center, or arms all the way up, okay? That's option number one. Option number two would be to bring this left foot and position it right here, okay? Same position with our hands, either here or here. And if we really want to test our balance, you can bring that left foot a little bit higher. And if balance is still an issue for any of these um, options, I recommend you get close to a wall and use the wall for support, okay? So, five breaths here. Let's take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more breaths, inhale and exhale. Three more, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale, gently release. We'll try the other side. One side may be a little bit more wobbly than the other side, so don't feel bad. Five breaths on this side. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, slowly come out of your tree pose. And now we're gonna position our feet kind of at a little angle right here. We're gonna go into our deep yogi squat. So we're gonna squat as far down as we comfortably can. If the issues if, if you have issues with your hips or your knees in this position, you can come up right here to a nice deep squat. Just make sure that you puff out your chest in front of you. You can place your elbows on, on your thighs or we can try to come all the way down here. You can even place a block right here, a pillow, and you can just sit on it to give you a little bit more support. The idea is to use your elbows to really push those knees out and we'll feel that deep stretch. So we'll hold this pose for five breaths. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Four more inhale and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. And wherever you're at, we'll slowly come down towards the yoga mat, and we'll finish up with a little breathing meditation. Find whatever is comfortable for you. If you wanna place a bolster underneath your glutes, um, a yoga towel, mat, blanket, whatever is comfortable to give you a little bit more elevation, you can totally do that. We're gonna close our eyes here, hands directly over our knees. And we're gonna hold this breathing meditation for five breaths. I want you to slow down your breathing Relax your facial expressions, relax the forehead, unclench your jaw, relax the shoulders, really start to tune into your breath. I want you to inhale slowly through the nose and exhale slowly through the nose. Four more times, inhale. 
and exhale. Three more breaths, inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale all that positivity and exhale what no longer serves you. One more breath together as we inhale deeply through the nose and exhale. And gently start to open your eyes. Thank you so much for tuning in today for our gentle yoga class. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.